Good evening. Good evening. Morning. Tal. Bien, bien, gracias a Dios. Bien, bien. Ajá. Ok. Ok, ok. Good evening. Good evening. Ya casi terminamos, chicos. Unos días nos quedan. Good evening. Good evening. Ah, y empiezan a llegar. Hello, good evening. Hello, Miguel. ver cómo estamos con las tareas tarea cuatro me falta uno dos Tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve. Uy, ¿cuántos? Nueve. Diez. Uy, más de la mitad de los que estamos. Oh, muchos. Y el examen final. Uno, dos. Uh. Cuatro faltan diez y el examen final dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez, once, 
12, 13, 14. Vaya niño, así estamos. Tarea 4, faltan 10. Que las terminen. En el examen final faltan 14. El problema es que de esos 10 que faltan de la tarea, no han comenzado nada. Están a cero. La mayoría. Sí. Ah. Y al examen final, ni se diga, ni hablemos. Sí. Bueno, tenemos dos días. ¿Verdad? Es que el examen no se puede hacer por partes. <risa> Hay que hacerlo de un solo. Oh, de una vez, ¿verdad? Ajá. ¿Qué? Eh, perdón. El examen, yo creo que yo sí ya lo hice, pero sí lo pude hacer por parte. Ah, de verdad. Ah, pues no va a dar copia. O sea, copia cómo hacerlo. Ay, ay, ay. <risa> no sé, pero que y revise el teacher esconde, ahí porque... Se esconde. Porque según yo sí ya terminé todo, pero no sé, ahí el teacher que diga lo mejor. Ah, revisa. Vamos a ver, Miguel. Sí, ya está. ¿Y por partes lo hizo, Miguel? Sí, lo que pasa es que lo comencé a hacer y después este me interrumpieron, no sé por qué, ya no me acuerdo, Ajá. pero se me olvidó que eso estaba haciendo y hasta como al siguiente día lo, lo continué haciendo. Pero Ajá. cerraste la página o la dejaste abierta. Como en el, como en el teléfono queda abierta siempre. Ah, pues por, ah, eso. Entonces, ajá, por eso. Clave. Ajá, clave. <risa> ah, el secreto. Sí, anoche nos dijo que se podía en el teléfono. Sí, de hecho yo en la compu no lo había intentado. Es que siento que es más práctico en el celular. Ajá. Bueno, entonces pongámonos verdad, porque tenemos ya nada más un par de días. Ya. Teacher, una no? consulta. Sí. Eh, como yo veo que estamos bien poquitos y este, pero nos van a, o sea, si nos inscribimos para el siguiente, para la siguiente etapa del curso, eh, no importa que seamos como tan poquitos, nos van a unir con otros. Seguramente. Sí, sí son varios grupos. Ah, bueno. Varios grupos. Por lo menos cuatro. Ah, bueno. Nada ah, más pasa. A ver, un otro paso. Pero es como se agrega también gente nueva. Y así es normalmente que hay deserción masiva. Pues tanto como masiva no hay. No, hay, hay. Hay algunos que han escrito, que se han comunicado por problemas de de trabajo no sé cómo están ahí negociando ah, okay. están trabajando en la plataforma ¿verdad? pero ah. a veces no pueden entrar en clase okay. eh, y sí este la verdad es que en este grupo es que ha habido varios sí. porque en los grupos anteriores siempre hay uno o dos que se retiran por algo de razón. Sí, pero en este de nosotros se han retirado. Va. Bueno, por lo menos ya no, no se ve que asisten varios. Sí, aunque oficialmente solo uno se ha dado de baja. Ah. Solo uno. Pero bueno, pero hay de dónde seguir armando grupos, no sé por qué. Okay. La verdad. Ok. No, Gabriel, ahorita vamos a pasar la lista. Ah. 
Okay, let's start with the first attendance of the evening. So please, cameras on and respond. Alberto Jose Hernandez. Alberto Jose. Uno. Amil Cardenil González. Present. Okay, Carlos Josué Hernández. Carlos Josué, todavía no. David Alberto Rivera. Ajá. David Otoniel Martínez. Uh -oh. Fidel Ángel Aguilera. Here, teacher. Okay. Gabriel Alonso Ponce. Present. Okay. Gerson Orlando Deodanes. Present. Good. Iván Alberto Castillo. Present. Okay. José Osvaldo Valle. Present. Good. María José Portillo. María Julia Ramos. María Julia. No se le escucha. Sí. Ahora, ahora sí. Ok. Presente. Ok. Eh, Marni Betsaide Hernández. Present. Good. Miguel Ángel Romero. Present. Ok. Patricia Noemí Guirao. Rafael Antonio Martínez. Rodolfo Alexander Fernández. Stephanie Janet Flores. Present. Ok, Stephanie, los Present. minutos ah. al final son contigo, ok. Ok. Víctor Antonio Benítez. Y Víctor Manuel Áviles. Ok. Ok. Ah, Rafael. ¿Qué pasó, Rafael? Se acaba de conectar, Richard. Ok, vaya, ahorita pues. Diga presente, Rafael Antonio Martínez. Present, teacher. Eso. Muy bien. Bueno, les repito a todos, ¿verdad? Los que acaban de entrar, el dato como estamos ahorita con las tareas de la unidad 4. Revisando en este momento faltan 10 que la mayoría ni siquiera han empezado las tareas de la unidad 4 y del examen final hay 14. Bastantes, tenemos un par de días, ¿verdad? Para que lo terminen, por favor, las dos cosas, las tareas de la unidad 4 y el examen final. Viernes me quedo por aquí escribiendo hasta la medianoche, ¿verdad? Para pasar sus notas. Y es que tenemos unos días, pónganlo, pongámonos ahí al día. Ok. Last class, we finished talking about places around your work, places around your company, places around your office. Okay, so I like to hear some of your sentences. Let's start with one sentence, okay? Tell me what is around your company. Is there a, a, a restaurant, a hotel, a supermarket, or whatever, okay? So I like to hear your sentences, but only one. First, one sentence about places around your company or your office. So let's start with Marnie. Go ahead, Marnie. One sentence. Marnie. Boy, boy, boy. 
Um, my sentence is there is a lab near my office there is a what a lab a lab. laboratory ah okay okay very good thank you Marnie pasa la pelota a alguien más pass the ball mm, Rafael Okay, Rafael. Busquen, busquen. Cualquiera, teacher. Yes, yes. There is a hospital near to my work. Ah, okay. What what hospital? Bloom Hospital. Ah, okay. Very good. Pass the ball, Rafael. Jose Osvaldo. Okay, Jose. There is a building behind the office. Ah, okay, good. Pass the ball. Maria de Macias. Maria Julia. Okay. Uh, there are not city hall around the office. There are no city hall. Around the my office. Okay, Maria Julia. That sentence is singular or plural? Uh, singular. Ah, okay. So, is there are or there is? Or there. There. There are there, or there are not city hall around the office. But there are is plural, Maria Julia. Y entonces sería there, there is not. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. There is not city hall around my office. Okay. Yes, because it's singular. Okay. Okay, Maria Julia, pass the ball. Uh, Stephanie. Stephanie. Okay. Este, they are not trees near the company. Again, again, repeat. There are not trees, trees, arbol, eh, near my company. Okay. Okay, uh, solo um, be careful because we are using there are no, no, not. Not. There are no trees. Trees. Uh -huh. There are no trees around my company. And also be careful with the pronunciation because this, for example, mm, They are, no es lo mismo, que there are, ok, estamos usando there are, there are, ya, yeah. be careful, no lo, no lo pronunciamos como they are, es una cosa diferente, they are. there, there are, there. There, there are. Okay, good. <laughs> Very good. Pass the ball, Stephanie. Um, 
Fidel Aguilera. Hey, Fidel. Risa malvada. <risa> eh, ok. Eh, there is no a, a soccer field next to the company. Ok. Uh, pass the ball, Fidel. Person. Person. There is a mall across the street. Okay. Oh, hmm. let me think. Fidel dijo, there is no a... Uh, ¿A qué era? Soccer field. Okay, so if you're using there is no, you don't need a. Ah. Hmm. Okay, there is no soccer field. That's it. There is no soccer field. Okay. Okay. Okay, good. Uh, ¿Quién fue el último? Herson, ¿verdad? Sí. Okay, Herson, pass the ball. Miguel Romero. Miguel, your sentence. Um, there is a car wash next to my office. Okay, very good, very convenient. Miguel, pass the ball. Nos falta Iván, Amilcar, Gabriel. Eh, Gabriel Ponce. Okay, Gabriel, your sentence. Okay. There are a restaurant near my house. Okay, repeat. There is a restaurant near my house. Ah, okay. There is a restaurant. Very good. Okay, Gabriel, pass the ball. We have Ivan or Amilcar. Ivan. Okay, Ivan. Uh, there is a call center around my company. Ah, okay, good. So finally, Amilcar. There is an embassy in front of my company. Ah, okay. What embassy, Amilcar? China. China. Oh, China. Interesting. Let's go to China. Okay, very good. Very good. Uh, uh, um. Any question with these people? I just want to show you that this. Okay. Let me share this with you. Give me a second of WhatsApp. Loading, loading. WhatsApp, me acuerdo que no era tan lento, que hoy es bien lento. Ok, vean ese cuadrito, aquí se los muestro. Un refuerzo a esto, el there is y el there are. Ok, here we have the affirmative sentences que hemos visto, ¿verdad? Singular and plural. Affirmative. Affirmative, singular, and plural. Okay. And change the color for you. 
there is with a singular noun. There is a book on the desk. Hay un libro sobre el escritorio. There are with plural noun. There are books on the desk. Y como ya estudiamos, también podemos agregar algunos quantifiers aquí. There are some books, there are a lot of books, o incluso un número. There are three books, there are five books on the desk. Ok. Pero there are is with plural nouns. And there is también con lo que se conoce como uncountable nouns. Esto lo vamos a estudiar quizá más adelante. Números, uh, o oh, perdón, nombres no contables. There is some milk in the fridge. And, uh, uncountable nouns son sustantivos de cosas que no, no tienen plural o no se pueden contabilizar. Es decir, son nombres que no se pueden decir en, en plural. Eh, luego de negative, hemos visto hasta hoy el there, there is no, ¿verdad? There is no, pero también existe el there isn't, o sea, is not, es diferente. Diferente la forma, aunque el significado es el mismo. There is not, o there isn't, a pen. On the table. Y cuando usamos el the recent, si sí vamos a utilizar el, el uh, quantifier. The recent, a pen on the table. Si yo usara solo there's no, esto debería de quedar there, there, there's no pen on the table. Si yo usara no en lugar de not. Ya. Hay dos maneras de decir no hay. There is not o solo there's no. Pero si uso el there's no, no vayamos a poner a. Some. Nada. There's no pen. Y la otra forma, there is not or there isn't a pen on the table. Lo mismo con el there aren't, ¿verdad? There aren't con plural noun. There aren't any pens here. Any, digamos, es eh, el... Um, en lugar de some, en lugar de uh, many o a lot of, usamos any con oraciones negativas. There isn't any. There aren't any. No hay ningún. Oh. Ok. Eh, y también esto pues lo vamos a ver después, pero uncountable. Lo que quiero que veamos sobre todo es esto, ¿no? Las questions. Como pregunto si hay algo, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, vean, tenemos la oración afirmativa. There is a cat on the chair. Para convertir esto en question, simplemente vean, invertimos acá. ¿No? Is there a cat on the chair? Y eso ya es una pregunta. Eso ya es una pregunta. There is a cat on the chair. Question, is there a cat on the chair? Hay un gato en la silla. There are cats on the sofa. Question, are there cats on the sofa? 
Okay. Y usualmente esto se responde con un, por ejemplo, si me preguntan, is there a cat on the chair? Yo le digo, yes. There is. O, oh, no. There isn't. No, there isn't. Sí, sí hay o no, no hay. Are there cats on the sofa? Yes. There are. Or? No. There aren't. Okay. Mal coloca. Yes, there are or no, there are. Okay. Y luego, here we have lo que serían eh, information questions. Recuerda, esta primera son de sí o no. Yes, there is. No, there isn't. Yes, there are. No, there aren't. Pero acá ya me preguntan cuántos. Ya. Yeah. Cuántos. Vean. How many students are there in your class? How many students are there in your class? ¿Cuántos estudiantes hay en tu clase? How many days are there in February? ¿Cuántos días hay en febrero? Es otro tipo de pregunta, ¿no? Cuando hablamos de cuánto hay de algo, usamos how many. Y estamos hablando en plural. How many students are there in your class? How many days are there in February? Okay. Solo para ampliar un poquito más este uso del there is y there are. Con preguntas. Okay. Con questions. Yes, no questions. Estas. Uh, information questions. Okay, alguna pregunta acá? Eh, teacher, eh, siempre eh, iría el are there en, en las information question. Sí. Ese no cambia por no. ninguna circunstancia. Mm, a menos que estés preguntando de cosas no contables. Solo por tener, ponerte el ejemplo. No quiero complicarles la vida. Por ejemplo, si yo quiero preguntar cuánta azúcar hay. Azúcar en inglés es un sustantivo no contable. Es decir, no podemos decir un azúcar, dos azúcar, tres azúcar. No. Por eso se llaman nombres no contables. No se pueden contabilizar. Para contabilizarlos, tenés que usar otras medidas. Una libra de azúcar, una cucharada de azúcar, dos tazas de azúcar. ¿Ves? Tal es un sustantivo no contable. Entonces, si yo quiero preguntar cuánta azúcar hay. How much, o no viene plural, is there. How much sugar is there? Yeah. How much water is? E incluso puede cambiar, por ejemplo, how much water is in the fridge? 
agua hay en el refrigerador. ¿Ya? Hoy podemos compliquémoslo. Is there in the fridge? How much water is there in the fridge? ¿Cuánta agua hay en el refrigerador? Entonces, en este caso, como ves, usamos is there. Pero son otros no te puedo decir no nunca siempre se va a usar arder porque es cierto ok thanks ok ok bueno ahí les queda el cuadrito lo pueden estudiar verdad luego let me see Ok, les voy a da, poner este ejercicio. Ah, sí. De seleccionar. Uh, voy a enviar la capa. Ok, ahí está. Complete these 16 sentences with there is and there are. Aquí simplemente es there is, there are. Eh, o en la forma de pregunta, ¿no? Cuando son preguntas. Are there? Is there? Cuando son preguntas. Ok. Many people standing outside the movie theater. What is the correct answer? A ver, ¿cuál sería la respuesta en la primera? There is many people, there are many people, there are many people. A, B, or C? B. 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 B, okay. There are many people standing outside the movie theater. Okay? Y eso es con el resto. Including groups, okay? Let me send you to working groups. There you go. Okay, ingresen a los grupos y trabajen en ese ejercicio. See you in 10 minutes.
Pues la Adri me imaginaría yo, o si no quiere bajar, mandaría a Carmen. Así no viene la cosa de Carlos. Qué bien. Ana Rosario, Ana Rosario. Ana Rosario. ¿Por qué compus? Tenemos dos pisos. que me lleve mi CPU. Ah. <risa> o sea, cuando me tengo que llevar el CPU, Roma me dice que me lleve el CPU porque solo hay, pues, hay monitores. El gobierno está de acuerdo. Sí. <risa> Yo creo que hasta él va a llegar. ¿Qué <risa> pasaría la EPA?
Pero ahí sería en la primera oración, ¿verdad? De... Porque la segunda... Por favor, espera aquí por un momento. A ver si me tengo... Quería hacer is There is something I have to get in my car. There is car. Ah, dice, por favor, espera un momento. Hay algo que... Ok. Okay, let's check your work. So, number one. Let's see. There are many people standing outside the movie theater. Okay, there are. Good. Number two. Let's start with Gabriel. There, there is or there are, Gabriel? Hola. Sería there are there are uh -huh. solo there se, are. Uh -huh. solo there uh -huh. there numero uh, there hey there a big group of people looking at things in the museum uh -huh. yes mm -hmm. 
No. No sé. Is there is. It. There is um, a big yeah. group. Un grupo grande. Es singular porque tenemos el A. A big group. Ah, ok. Number three, Marnie. There are, there have, there is. There is, there is. Okay, there is, correct. Number four, Jose. Are there, there are, there have. Are there, letter A. Letter A, correct. Number five, person. There is, are there, or there are? There are. There are. There are. Uh -huh. Okay. Number six, Ivan. Letter are, B. There is, letter B. Ah, Letter A. Letter A. There are three people. Yes. There are three people in the classroom. Students and one teacher. Number seven. Uh, Miguel. Uh, letter B. Is there? There is. Ah, okay, yes, letter A, B, correct. Number eight, um, let's see, Fidel, A, B, or C? Fidel? No está. Milcar, number eight, A, B, or C. Sí. So, sorry, teacher, no, no me servía el micrófono. Pero okay. es eh, la, la, there are, there are, there are, no, are there, there are. Are there any books on the table? No, there aren't. So, letter B. Okay, number nine, Amilcar. Letter C. There are four chairs on one table. Yes, letter C. Number 10, Rafael. A, B, or C. Letter C. Letter C. Yes, there is. Number 11. Um, Ivan. A, B, or C. Letter A, are there. How many cars? Yes. Number 12. Maria Julia, A, B, or C? A. A. Mm, are you sure? Porque la primera... There is, there is, there is. Ah, okay. B, B. B. Sí, la primera parte es una oración. Sí, la segunda. La segunda parte es la pregunta. Entonces, there is. Let's continue with... Um, oh, give me a second. Iván, number 13. Letter 
A. Letter A. Yeah. Hey, Gabriel, 14. 14. 14. Oh. Sería letter uh, 16. Oh. No, no, 14. 14. 14. Uh. Larry A. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Number 15. Let's continue with Jose. Letter C teacher, there are it. There are and correct. And number 16, Marnie. Letter B, there is. There is, yes. Okay, very good. Any question, people? No. Okay. <laughs> okay. Very good. Solo. Uh, les voy a grabar la pronunciación para que luego la puedan practicar. One. There are many people standing outside the movie theater. Two, there is a big group of people looking at things in the museum. Three, there is a small cat playing with some toys. Four, how many cops are there? There are two cops. Five, are there two birds in the tree? Yes, there are. Six. There are three people in the classroom, two students and one teacher. Seven. Is there a taxi waiting for us? Yes, there is. Eight. Are there any books on the table? No, there aren't. Nine. There are four chairs and one table in the dining room. Ten. Is there anything I can do to help? Yes, there is. Eleven. Why are there so many cars parked near the library? 12. There is a great action movie playing at the theater. Do you want to see it? 13. I don't see any buses. Why aren't there any buses? 14. Is there a good reason why he is late? Yes, there is. 15. There aren't any English exams that we have to study for next week. 16. Please wait here for a moment. There is something I have to get in my car. Okay. Ahí les queda. Luego ustedes las pueden practicar. Okay, I'm going to take the second attendance of the evening. So please turn on your cameras and respond. Alberto Jose Hernandez, not here. Okay. Um, okay.
Okay. Um, Amilcar de Nilson González. Present. Okay. Carlos Josué Hernández. David Alberto Rivera. No, ya no. David Otoniel Martínez. Ok, eh, sigo con Fidel Ángel eh, Aguilera. Y el teacher. Ok, Gabriel Alonso Ponce. Present. Good, Gerson Orlando Diodanes. Present. Ok, Alberto Castillo. Present. Good, José Osvaldo Valle. Present. Ok, María José por María Julia Ramos. Present teacher. Good. Marnie Betsaida Hernández. Present. Okay. Miguel Ángel Romero. Present. Good. Patricia Noemí Guirao. Rafael Antonio Martínez. Present. Rodolfo. Ok. Rodolfo Alexander Fernández. Stephanie Janet Flores. Víctor Antonio Benítez and Víctor Manuel Aviles. Okay. Let's continue with tonight's lesson here. Unit four, lesson three. Okay. Uh, in this lesson, you will be able to describe how my and other working places and areas look like. Describe how my and others working places and areas look like. Escribir como mi área y, la, y el, mi lugar de trabajo y, y, mi, y el lugar de trabajo de otros se ve. Como el área y el lugar de trabajo mío y de otros se ve. So that is the topic here. Okay. Look at this description of Mr. Paz and Mrs. Aguilar's workplaces. Mr. Paz and Mrs. Aguilar's workplaces. El lugar de trabajo de Mr. Paz y de Mrs. Aguilar. Dice Mr. Mr. Paz. Dice que en su working place there is a beautiful lobby. There are comfortable rooms. There is a huge parking lot. A big parking lot. And there are three high-tech elevators. Okay, that is at Mr. Pass workplace. Too high. Where is it? So there is a beautiful lobby, there are comfortable rooms, there's a huge parking lot, there are three high-tech elevators. High-tech is uh, like modern elevators, modern with high-technology elevators, okay? 
So according to that description, a beautiful lobby, comfortable rooms, a huge parking lot, high tech elevators. Where do you think Mr. Pass works? Where do you think Mr. Pass works? In a hospital, in a factory, in a, a restaurant? Where do you think Mr. Pass works? According to this description. In a hotel. In a hotel. Somebody says a hotel. Oh, up and here. Okay, in a hotel. Any other idea? No more ideas? Maybe a hotel. Okay. Wouldn't be a hospital? Maybe. I don't know. Okay. Good. Now let's read about Mrs. Mrs. Aguilar. Mrs. Aguilar's workplace. This is not Mr. It's Mrs. Mrs. Aguilar. Oh. Okay. It's this. There is a narrow reception area. There is a narrow reception area. Okay, who can tell me what is the meaning of narrow? Angosto. Angosto, estrecho. Okay. There are two dirty dining rooms. Two dirty dining rooms. What is the meaning of dirty? Sucio. Sucio, okay. Let me mark this. Then there is an ugly photocopy center. An ugly photocopy center. What is ugly? Feo. Horrible. Feo, horrible, no? Okay. There are small offices, small offices. What is a small? Pequeño. Pequeño, okay. So let me mark some particular words here. Uh, beautiful, lobby, comfortable, rooms. Huge parking lot, high tech elevators, narrow reception area, dirty dining rooms, ugly photocopy center, small offices. Okay, according to this description, where do you think Mrs. Aguilar works? Use your imagination. In the same lugar que el señor Paz, teacher. <laughs> really? Sí, lo que pasa que ella es mujer. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, come on, guys. 
narrow reception area, dirty dining rooms, ugly photocopy center, small offices. What do you think? ¿Qué se le viene a la, a la cabeza? Un, factory. A fa could be a factory. Uh -huh. What else? Otro lugar podría ser. Sí. ¿Ah? Hello. Only a factory? Company? No. ¿Cómo? Lab. Lab. Yes. Do you think a lab? A laboratory? Like a, a medic, a medical laboratory? A clinical laboratory? Un laboratory donde hacen pastillas. <laughs> Eso es lo que se me viene a la mente. Okay. Droguería, entonces. Una droguería, ok. No more, no more ideas, ok. Good. So, observe, here we have what beautiful, comfortable, huge, high tech, narrow, dirty, ugly, small offices. These are words that describe a place. Okay. How are, uh, como se llaman estas palabras that we use to describe something? Como se llaman esas palabras que usamos para describir algo? Natural. Natural. Adjective. Oh, adjectives. Yes. Teacher, what Adjective. is the positive of, of smart? The positive. No, the positive. The opposite. The opposite yes. of a small. What do you think, people? What is the opposite of a small? Big, bigger. Big, the big, uh huh. Okay. Large. Okay, so these are adjectives beautiful, comfortable, huge, high tech, narrow, dirty, ugly, small. And what about these words? Lobby. Rooms, parking lot, elevators, reception area, dining rooms, photocopy center, offices. ¿Qué son esos? Places. Places, aha. Adjectives. Okay, some places. O sea, son nouns. Son nombres o sustantivos. ¿Ya? Nouns. Son sustantivos. Okay. En este caso son sustantivos de lugares, places. Okay, so observe this, this order. A beautiful lobby. A comfortable, comfortable rooms, huge parking lot, high tech elevators, yeah, narrow reception area, dirty dining rooms, ugly photocopy center, small offices. Okay. Now we have three questions here. 
let me read the questions. You have to respond to these questions. How does Mr. Paz describe his workplace? ¿Cómo describe el señor Paz su lugar de trabajo? What does Mrs. Aguilar think about her workplace? ¿Qué piensa Mrs. Aguilar sobre su lugar de trabajo? And the last one. On which of the two places do you want to work and why? ¿En cuál de los dos lugares quieres tú trabajar? Y por Okay, I'll give you five minutes to respond to these questions. First, do it individually, please. ¿Cómo describe? How does Mr. Paz describe his workplace? What does Mrs. Aguilar think? ¿Qué piensa Mrs. Aguilar about her workplace? Y on which of the two places do you want to work? And why? Respond, please. Ah, uh, no, no, no problem. Estaba grabándole las, las oraciones.
Okay, I will send you in groups for a couple of minutes just to share your answers para que comparen ahí sus respuestas, okay? Five minutes in small groups, compare your answers. See you back in five minutes.
Ok. <clears throat> so, how does Mr. Paz describe his workplace? You can tell me. Have a place. Awesome. Uh huh. But how does he describe it? There is a beautiful lobby. There is a comfortable room. Mm -hmm. There. There is a huge parking lot. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's right. And what does Mr. Aguilar think about her workplace? This. Hello. Okay, you're too quiet today. Have a place, but <laughs> yeah, it's a bad place. On which of the two places do you want to work? Where would you like to work? At the hotel or at the factory? <laughs> I like it to work in a hotel. In the hotel, right? Okay, yes. Okay, so we were talking about the um, the adjectives. Uh, before nouns, so adjectives before nouns. But there are some positive adjectives and there are some negative adjectives, okay? For example, comfortable, there are comfortable rooms. That is positive, that is good. There's a huge parking lot, mm, good. There are nice places to rest, nice, good. There is an illuminated training room, good. So these are positive adjectives. And there are also some negative adjectives. There is a narrow reception area. There are small offices. There is a disgusting kitchen area. There is a smelly living room. Narrow, small, disgusting, and smelly. Yeah. These are negative adjectives, positive and negative adjectives. And as I told you, adjectives come before the noun. Comfortable rooms, huge parking lot, nice places, illuminated training room. Narrow reception area, small offices, disgusting kitchen area, smelly living room. Okay, adjectives, nouns. Adjectives, noun. Okay. <clears throat> Let me share an, uh, something to practice. Oh, let me go here. Okay, first, I want to give you this. Uh, 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 where is it? Here. 
I want to give you this list of adjectives and nouns. And you have to classify them. Classify these words in adjectives or nouns. Let me share the screen. Yeah. Oh, let me show you. Okay, here you have a list of words. Yeah, these words. Teacher, dog, happy, sharp, pencil, ball, lucky, cake, pink, boat, home, zoo, white, fun, quiet, hot, small, baby, doctor, bright, many. Okay. So I want you to classify them in adjectives or nouns. Van a escribir en la columna correcta la palabra. Okay. So I'll send you in groups again to practice that. Okay, go to your groups and classify that vocabulary. See you in 10 minutes.
Ash. Porque Brian siempre, siempre me ha confundido esa, esa palabra. Break. Porque estoy entre Brian. Trae... Es, es brillante. Ah, es... Sí. Adjetivo, creo que. Ahí sería el bot. Bot. Sería... Tres mil dólares. Si ustedes lo dicen, es una belleza. Me encantan los Vaya, autos americanos. Vaya, esa sería. BMW aprendería un auto.
Okay, people, let's check. Okay, what about teacher? Adjective no. or noun? No. No. Okay, let's do something. I'm going to. Sí, estar escribiendo es un vamos a tardar mucho. Entonces voy a ponerle. Una estrella a los nombres y un corazoncito a los adjectives. Okay. <clears throat> cake. What is cake? Noun. Noun. Quiet. Adjective. 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 Uh, dog. Noun. Noun. Uh, pink. Noun. Uh, adjective. 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 Yeah, colors are usually adjectives. Uh, hot. Adjective. Adjective. Happy. Adjective. Adjective. Boat. Nouns. Nouns. Small. Adjective. Adjective. Sharp. Adjective. No. Mm. Adjective. Adjective. Om. No. no. Baby. No. no. Pencil. No. 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 Do. No. What? No. 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 Doctor. No. 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 Noun. Ball. No. no. White. Adjective. 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 Bright. Adjective. Adjective. Lucky. Adjective. Adjective. Fun. Adjective. Adjective. Many. Adjective. Adjective. Okay. Adjective. Very good. So we have happy, sharp, lucky, pink, white, fun, quiet, hot, small, bright, many. These are adjectives. And teacher, dog, pencil, ball. Cake, home, zoo, baby, doctor are nouns. Perfect. Any question? No. Okay. So let me uh, share with you this. Yeah. <laughs> Let me share with you this link and put it here in WhatsApp. And the activity is this. Oh, no, it's... Oh, better. Okay. I don't think we have time today, but you can do it later, okay?
opposites drag and drop que hay que arrastrar verdad El, todos son adjectives pero son opposites no hay que colocarlos en el lugar correcto son opuestos los dibujitos que los guíen ya para Ok. Entonces les dejo eso ahí para que lo trabajen. Mañana lo vemos. Ok. I'm going to take the last attendance of the evening. Alberto José Hernández. No. Eh, Amilcar de Nilsson González. Present. Carlos, ok. Carlos José Hernández. Not today. David Otoniel Martínez. Not today. Fidel Ángel Aguilera. Fidel Ángel Aguilera. Ya no está. Sí, soy, si no fueron varios. Gabriel Alonso. Entonces se fue. Gerson Orlando de Odanes. Present. Ok. Iván Alberto Castillo. Present. Ok. José Osvaldo Valle. Present. Present, teacher. Ok. María José Portillo. María Julia Ramos. Marni Betsaide Hernández. Present. Okay. Miguel Ángel Romero. Present. Okay. Uh, Patricia Noemí, no está. Rafael Antonio Martínez. Present, teacher. Ok, Rodolfo Alexander Fernández, no está. Stephanie Janet, se fue. Víctor Antonio y Víctor Manuel, no está. Ok, people, eso sería todo por hoy. See you tomorrow. Complete the homework, please, in unit four. And uh, the final exam. Ok. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Have a good night. Take care. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Okay. La estudiante que se iba a quedar ahora, pues tuvo que retirarse. Me escribió en el WhatsApp. Que se tenía que retirar por motivos personales la clase. Así es que acá estaremos.